A DIY air cleaner is an affordable and effective alternative to commercially available air cleaners. The simplest DIY air cleaner construction utilizes three affordable supplies readily available at a home improvement store. An air circulating box fan, a MERV 13 air filter or equivalent, and duct tape. To ensure safe use and effectiveness, let's review some recommended criteria. The box fan should have a manufacture date after 2012 and be certified by an independent safety organization to meet the ANSI UL507 safety standard for electric fans. The air filter should be sized 20 inches by 20 inches to fit the box fan and be rated to capture small particles with a MERV rating of 13 or greater. Home improvement retailers may offer an alternative filter rating system that is equivalent to the MERV 13 high efficient filter rating. Duct tape is recommended because it can provide a continuous seal around the fan and the filter, leaving limited residue, while clamps, bungee cords, and string can also be used to attach the filter to the fan. These can leave indentations and gaps on or around the filter. Never use sealants or wet glues, as these might add additional pollutants and complicate filter replacement. To assemble the fan, place the front of the fan on the floor. Place the filter squarely against the back of the fan. Make sure that the arrow indicating the direction of airflow is pointing towards the back of the fan, or the side that sucks air in. Use tape to securely attach the filter on all four sides. The tape should be continuous with no gaps. Once assembled, the DIY air cleaner is immediately ready for use. Use the DIY air cleaner in the room you spend the most time in. Operate the fan in a clear, open space. Ensure the fan is on the ground and has good air movement around it. Keep curtains or any loose material away from it. Keep windows and exterior doors closed if feasible. Provide safe power. Do not overload the circuit and unplug the fan when it is not in use. Ensure good airflow. Change filters every three months at a minimum and more frequently during and after a smoke event. Have extra MERV 13 filters on hand and make sure the fan and motor are clean. Do not use the fan if there are any signs of damage. As an optional enhancement, use of an activated carbon filter may help absorb additional wildfire emissions such as volatile and semi-volatile organic compounds and odors. Cut the carbon filter to the size of the air filter with heavy-duty scissors. Place the front of the filter pad against the back of the filter. As with the air filter, verify the direction of airflow and secure it with duct tape on all four sides. Learn more about DIY air cleaner safety at chemicalinsights.org wildfires.